So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is Friday morning and it has been a very busy 48 hours. Uh, Wednesday morning, yeah, Wednesday, Melissa and I left. We went to State College for Ag Progress Days and we met a whole bunch of nice people out there. Uh, then after that, we went and had dinner with Hannah and Tyler and we were planning on spending the night, but I had to uh, come home. We got home about 11 o'clock Wednesday night and then yesterday I got all this ready if you watched those videos the other day you know I had these uh, Crete heat panels down I had a little mix up with my grade basically that door right there is lower than that door over there and I wasn't going to get my full six inches of concrete that I was after so I pulled all the panels out and then when I got back yeah, yesterday morning, I had about a third of these done, but I got all the rest of the panels down, all the tubing down, got the other manifold hooked up over there, uh, got it under pressure right now, we're ready to go for concrete, but concrete with the hosses will be here shortly, and they will get started. But anyway, I want to show you a little footage from Ag Progress Days, like I said, I met a ton of nice people out there. We're at the AM logging booth, and uh, they're a big outfit from central Pennsylvania. I ran into one lonely farmer out there, and we probably met, I don't know, 150 people, maybe a little bit more than that, that watch our channel. You guys see us all the time and what we do. I like having the meetups and stuff where we get to talk to people. I always ask, you know, where are you from? What are you doing? Because everyone knows about us. And I like to know kind of what's up with you guys. So it was really nice to be able to do that. Next show we will be at will be at the uh, Paul Bunyan Show in Cambridge, Ohio in October. Mike and I just got to the Ag Progress Days. Let's go. All right, we're here at the uh, Ag Progress Days. And what's your name again? I'm Steve Bainbridge from Pleasant Gap, Pennsylvania. And how long have you been watching our channel? Oh, since you got your first sawmill. Really? Yeah, you had that was the third time you used it. Yeah. When, when I watched it. So it's been up what, two years now? Yeah, yeah and you're about what, forty minutes from here you 40 said? Forty minutes, yeah. Forty so, minutes. But it's it's really nice to be here and, and meet you guys finally. Yeah, it's really yeah, nice to be part of the family. You know, yeah. Well, it's <laughs> yeah. it's really neat to to finally get to meet you because I was just like, what do you mean you don't know me? I've been watching you for two years. <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, it's it's really been a, a pleasure. I'm glad, you, glad we got to meet you. We appreciate finally it. Finally, keep up the good work. Well, thank you keep very much. Work, you know? I appreciate so. it. If you're wondering where all the uh, Kubota equipment is, it appears to be at Messick's display out here at Ag Progress Days. This is the uh, KX57-5. This is... Uh, the newest model of the one I have. SVL 75. That's a beauty. So look who we ran into here. William. William. You ran into William? Ran into well, William. Look at the camera. No, he's just playing. I don't want to. So what are you doing out here today? Well, we're just looking at, we're looking for something that doesn't exist out here. Oh, really? That's, that's right. We're looking for a twin row corn planter. Okay. Uh, not that I'm going to buy one. I'm going to build one. Are you? But I just wanted to steal their idea. Yeah. You know, that's how I go. Right. Yeah, I'm a thief. It's a warm one here today. It is. It absolutely is. Yeah. 100%. Hotter than I thought it was going to be. But well, we got a good breeze going on. Your channel is One Lonely Farmer. That's right. One Lonely Farmer. <laughs> Yeah, you 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 met up with uh, Josh from Stony Ridge before. Yeah, yeah Josh I talked came to him. Up to him the farm. So, yep. yep, I remember that. Yeah, and we talk once in a while, not that often, but he keeps trying to get me to go down there. But every time I go to go to go down there, something bad happens. Yeah, like motorhome engines blow up and you know things like that. Right. So we haven't got there yet. Yeah. But we will eventually take yeah. him down there to see him. Well, it was nice seeing you. Yeah. Nice running into you. Take yep. care. Yeah, we just ran into uh, one lonely farmer looking at the big Kubota. Look at this little Kubota. All right, so we're out here at AM Logging's booth at the Ag Progress Days, and this is Wes. And 
and uh, Wes invited us to come out. We've met a lot of people out here today. I mean, I don't know how many, but uh, it's a good show. It's hot. Yeah. Very hot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've sweat through the crowd. Tell us a little bit about your company. So AM Logging um, was started when Andrew and Mark um, started cutting walnut trees out of a fence row about 14 years ago. And after a few years, it got busy enough for them that they figured they needed to either quit their day jobs or quit logging on the side. And so they decided to quit their day jobs, and they formed AM Logging. And uh, so they've grown it from fence rows into the business that they've grown it into today. And they do excavating as well, right? We have an excavation side of the company also. Um, and that, that the genesis of that was is that we couldn't hire the people to put our roads in and retire our landings when we needed them done. And uh, so we went to a company and offered to buy the company. They weren't interested in selling it, but said you could take one of their employees, so we did. And uh, we hired David, and he's been the head of that division ever since. At some point, I want to come out. I, I did my homework on these guys. I did. They are. They do a superb job, and you take care of people's property when you log it. Because if they don't, you're never going to get called back, right. and you're right. going to get a horrible reputation. That's right. But everybody that I talked to when I checked up on you guys had nothing but good things to say oh, about your company. And that, that is really good to that's hear. That's wonderful to hear. Yeah, yeah really and that's why we decided to come out here. Uh, to meet you guys, but at some point I'd like to get out on some of your jobs and things. and, and We'd be delighted to have you when it's a lot cooler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's got to be 90 today, oh, at least. It's just terrible. It's humid. Yeah. And we're in the shade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. And I appreciate the invite out here. You guys also do mulch and stuff as yeah. well? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. So we use everything that a tree uh, will yield to us. So mm -hmm. we, we uh, do quality sidewalks for making cabinetry and flooring and those kind of things. We sell low-grade logs, which are used to make railroad ties and pallets. Um, we sell to shaving mills who shave logs to make animal bedding. And then we chip logs in the woods and we make uh, wood chips that we sell to paper mills and medium density fiberboard plants. And then if there's anything left, we make mulch out of it. Right. And, uh, and sell that product uh, as, as well. Right. So the, the, the old saying used to be that the Dutchman ate everything in a pig but to squeal. And that's sort of our theory with trees. You know, we try to use everything we can with the tree. Right. A good deal. Well, thanks. It's been great having you guys here. And I don't know, I, I, I'm sorry that it's blasted hot. Uh, but there's not anything I can do about the weather. And uh, so we hope you got to meet a lot of your subscribers and yeah, a, lot of your, a lot of your fans. And, and it, it was at 1030 this morning, I had people coming up and asking me, is this on time? And, uh, and so that was great to know that you were going to have some folks here. And uh, we're just delighted to have you. And thanks a bunch for coming in and spending the day with us. Thanks. thanks. We're headed to the truck, and here's why. So I may be a little bit winded here, but I have to tell this story. So we were over there, oh, about a half mile, and uh, the storm's coming. I mean, it's putting down the rain over there. I can't see the lightning. So I said, Melissa, we got to get to the truck ASAP. She's like, okay. So she's got these shoes. You want to show them those shoes, Melissa? We need to set the stage here. She tried wearing these things today, and she likes them, but the one kind of hurt her foot. So yeah, she, she on my foot. It hurts. yeah, so she's walking real slow, and I'm like, Melissa, it's gonna pour down rain, hit with lightning, whole nine yards. We're gonna get to the truck. 
So we're just kind of moseying along. All these people are running past us. Well, you didn't hear them. And then she, she, yeah, and then she says, I'll just take these off. I can go a lot faster. She takes the boots off and just takes off running completely out of sight. And now there I am out in a storm. But I just made it to the truck and the heavy stuff is starting to come down. True story. I, I would have thought you would have taken them off a lot sooner than what you did. Well, I didn't know we were in that big of a hurry. I'm like, if I take these off, I'll go. I just ran in my socks. It took you 10 minutes to do the first quarter mile and about two minutes to do the second quarter mile. Yeah. Holy I'm smokes. Okay. I think if we back up and go out that way, we're good. Wow. All right. I think our time here is done. I think so. It's not going to... It's a... We looked it up. It's a big blob on the radar. Boy, look at that lightning over there. Unbelievable. So we met... Uh, at Combos? One lonely farmer. I saw him. He's got a YouTube channel. He's looking at the Kubotas. But yeah, we met a ton of people today. Oh my. It's 3.30. We said we'd be here till 4 but everybody's checking out right now. Well, they're announcing, asking everybody to go to their car. Yeah. That's the safest thing. Some of those buildings, Whew. never know. But anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Yeah. Thanks for coming along. Oops. What happened? Food fall out of your mouth. I better do that again. Thanks for coming along. We appreciate you being here. Give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.